In this tutorial, we are going to look at some of the clinical applications of RNA-seq and how it has been useful to researchers on how it can be useful in future outlooks. In this particular tutorial, we will be focusing more on bladder cancer. There are two types of bladder cancer in the T1 stage. And what the T1 stage means is that the cancer has infected and spread towards the connective tissue. And in the T1 stage, there is the T1 non-progressive cancer and the T1 progressive cancer. Initially, there wasn't a way to differentiate if a patient had the progressive or non-progressive type. What ended up happening was that patients who were told in that they had the non-progressive cancer would have their cancer progress to the next stages and by the time they had noticed, the cancer would have become metastatic at that point. This didn't happen for all the patients, but it happened for a lot of them. By using RNA-seq to focus on formalin-fixed and paraffin-embedded bladder cancer samples, researchers were able to differentiate between the two gene signatures of the non-progressive and progressive bladder cancers. The discovery through RNA-seq will help future clinicians and researchers in designing ways for making accurate predictions of bladder cancer and can be applied to other areas of cancer research. Chromosomal DNA samples from the patients with bladder cancer were sequenced using Illumina. The researchers used tools such as the Cassava software, Top Hat, and Cufflinks. All this were used in the process of retaining appropriate and correct results. The process that RNA-seq goes through in order to get an accurate result involves quality assessment, alignment, variant identification, variant annotation, and visualization. We will talk about this in future videos. Cassava is a really convenient software as it does a variety of analysis such as quality assessment, alignment, and variant identifications. The, the software stands for Consensus Assessment of Sequence and Variation Software. The software mainly focuses on single nucleotide polymorphisms and indels, which are insertions and deletions. Top Hat's main job is for alignment, and it also looks for splice junctions between the exons. Cufflink assembles transcripts, estimates your abundances, and tests for differential expressions and regulations. There are more tools beyond the ones mentioned here and many of them work together to help researchers make accurate predictions and diagnosis of the disease and other various cancers. In the next videos, we will look closely at the steps of analysis and some of the tools associated with those steps. Thanks for watching.